Hey guys. Ah. We're here with Perfect Ultimate time to Start. Yep. Ultimate Chimera, which I am surprised is still a thing. It's like, hey, do you want to play this game? It's based on the Ultimate Chimera. I'm like, the, yeah, you the, had the no idea. One? You had no idea what this was, yeah, or that it existed. Well, it's because you were you you just said, "Hey, do you want to play um, Ultimate Kimura Hunt?" And I'm like, "Huh? Is that like is that a Mother Three reference?" And like you were telling me it as I was googling it, so I'm like, "Oh my god! It wow! Shit! That was fast!" Yeah, and this is like a a really a really old game that I'm surprised people are still playing. Well, I was just telling you, I realized the other day that the fucking, the patch is eight years old. And, man, it feels like I downloaded and played through this, like, yesterday. So, this is all based on, of course, from the three. Right. The ultimate um... Kimura, who can be stopped by pushing the button on his back. Right, uh, if anybody hasn't played Mother 3 yet, I would highly recommend that you do. But at some point in the game, you'll run across the ultimate chimera, which is the you know, ultimate, the hardest animal. It's like this fusion oh. creature that cannot be killed. It can't be stopped, and it will instantly kill you if it catches you. But it's got a button on its back that just turns it off. In fact, one of the cutest things about it is it's got a little bird on its back. And the bird is not actually part of the ultimate camera. The bird is there to hit the button in case anyone ever manages to deactivate it. Right. So in that sense, it's not really even a chimera. It's just like a monster with a little birdie that rides on it. Well, one of the plot points of Mother's Three is actual cameras, like Spider Horse and um, a bunch of reconstructed cyborg animals. Yeah, like bat monkeys and fish dogs. Yeah, so did you turn them off? Good job. Yes, I did. So um, you got a rank I guess up I now. Playing, I've been playing a lot of fucking Monster Hunter, so I'm I'm not gonna let one ultimate camera fucking take me out. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the best map for this, but um, they've got actual Mother 3 maps, like they've got Newport City, uh, Club Tidibu, uh Saturn Valley, you know, those kind of things. We're going to see if we can vote one in next round. Yeah. I see him. Uh, I got you. <laughs> I tried to sneak around his back and uh, deactivate him. So yeah, this is kind of like a almost a Saxton Hale TF2 kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. The Chimera also, can. Also, we get to be a. Uh, yeah. When the... you die, you get to be the. Um, yeah, you the get ghost. to be a ghost. And sometimes you get a wine glass. Uh, the the wine drinking. Um... The wine drinking ghosts are like one of my favorite things about Mother Street. Hey, there you go. There we go. So the Chimera can do three things to kind of keep you from pushing the button. Uh, it can kill you, obviously. It can roar, which is like an AOE stun. It can fly, and it can do a little tail whip behind itself. That's what got me. Um, he missed with the bite, but hit me with the tail whip. I hear him coming. And I just remember playing this really back in the day and I'm just amazed that people still play this. This is like 
I, I never touch Gary's mod, really. I don't know why I never really touch Gary's mod, but... Like, the only um, reason I is... ever played Gary's mod was for Ultimate Chimera Hunt. Come on. Yes. <laughs> it was kind of just like everyone on his back yeah. at that second. So what am I now? Oh, server's over. See if we can get an earthbound map in here. Um uh one at beta, Saturn Valley, Tenda Village. And it looks like everybody's going to four layers. Is that a earthbound one or I don't know. There's Oso Castle in Newport City. I oh I'm Newport going City. I'm going to Osho Castle. Osho Castle? Eh, maybe next time. It seems like everyone just kind of picks whatever's first. Mm. So just remember where also Castle is. Yeah, Lemmings. Let's see. That reminds me, I came up with a really good idea for a game the other day. What if we had uh, a Lemmings clone where you had to place Pokemon? The, all the Lemmings are Pokemon Go players, and you get to choose where right, yeah. uh, Lemmings get placed, or where Pokemon get placed. To keep them from, like, walking into traffic and shit. Yeah, either, like, keep them from, like, walking right into the middle of the fucking ocean. Or, you can play as an angry demigod and just let them all fucking die. Oh, also, I can jump infinitely? I can fly? I'm flying! I can't fly anymore. Oh yeah, this is definitely a modest remap. Is it? It's where it's in the last looking place. Yeah, I don't know what this map is. Oh, I see. I see the camera. Come on. Oh yeah, if uh, if you're good at the game, you can uh, press F3 to buy cosmetics for your pig mask. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm we have I'm like, uh, I see. I don't think we have enough dragon points yet. Oh, I have 25, and like the cheapest thing here is 6,000. So, yeah, no. That's, that shit ain't happening. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in the middle and wait for the Kimura to come running down like he did before. Like there. Fuck off. <laughs> gotcha. uh, you got him at least. So this is literally going to be just the entire game. Is yeah, this is pretty much waiting it. Waiting for someone to jump. Waiting for someone to well, jump down, fall down the for middle. this map, yeah. Hopefully they just do it right away. Yeah, I don't like this map. He's on my head? Got him. Too good. You're pretty good. Come on down. Oh, he's just gonna wait up there. Well, not for much longer, because someone's already up there. Ah! <laughs> it's fun.
chilly, 86. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, if you, so if you take him out from all the way on top, it like gets skewered by the middle of the fucking... Oh my god. That's awesome. That was brutal. Oh my god, I got a perfect view of that too. Holy shit. You just fall down like mouth open first, right down onto the fucking skewer pipe. 